Now, Russia's foreign minister has said Russia would hit new targets in Ukraine if the West supplied longer-range missiles to Kyiv. It comes as the UK announced it will send long-range mobile rocket launchers to Ukraine, just days after the US made a similar pledge. Our defence correspondent, Jonathan Beale, now reports. Fighting in the city of Severodonetsk has been described as the hottest of the conflict, with relentless Russian artillery strikes reducing the area to rubble and ashes. Ukraine's President Zelensky has called the situation hell. This weekend, sheltered in a building, he made his first visit to troops there, fighting against huge odds. An effort to boost morale. You are true heroes of our country, Ukraine. You are heroes of war. Because of you, we have and will have our land and our country. Ukraine's forces are outnumbered and outgunned. Russia's vast arsenal of artillery trying to pummel and break Ukrainian resistance. Both sides are taking heavy casualties. But for Ukraine, more help will soon be on its way. Today, Britain announced it'll be sending this, its most advanced rocket launcher, following the lead of the US, which is supplying Ukraine with a similar system. This British Army version can fire a dozen rockets in a minute and has a range of up to 50 miles, further than most of Russia's artillery. The flow of Western weapons has already angered Moscow, though President Putin is also trying to play down its significance. We believe that the delivery of rocket systems by the United States and some other countries is related to making up for the losses of combat hardware. There is nothing new about that, and this actually changes nothing. The question now, will these weapons arrive in time to make a difference? And in such small numbers, the US is sending just four of its rocket launchers to Ukraine, the UK another three. But for Ukraine, every little helps. Jonathan Beale, BBC News. Well, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has affected so much, including global efforts to tackle climate change. The US envoy on climate change, John Kerry, has warned that the war mustn't be used as an excuse to prolong global reliance on coal.